y is equal to x squared. Okay, now y equal x squared. Now, if you don't know what it look like, okay, I'm gonna plot a table for you. Let's say x and y. Let's say minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. This is for x. Okay, so we just do a table, and then we complete this table. Okay, so you should know what it look like. All right. If you don't, this is I'm gonna show you. So this is what it is, okay? Now look, if x is minus two, so that means y equal minus two all square. So like this, to fill up this table, just type in calculator, minus two all square. So minus two all square, it give me four. Okay, similarly, negative one all square. Type that in calculator, give me one. Zero square is zero. One square is just one square is one. 2 square is just 2 square, okay, it's 4, okay, so 2 square is 4, right, so if I want to plot that in the, you know, in the Cartesian plan, okay, let's have a look at this, okay, so this is x, this is y, right, so let's say two, minus 2, 4, uh, let's say start from 0, 0 first, 0, 0 is roughly Real zero zero is here. One one that means x is one, y equal one. So x is one, y equal one roughly here. Okay. Now two four. X is two, y equal four. See so two four roughly there. Alright. Then it says minus one, x is minus one, y equal one. Minus one one. See? And then minus two four. It's just symmetrical. Okay, so your graph it just you just connect together and your graph should look like this. All right, so that's what that meant. Sorry, I missed that. But anyway, that's what it looked like. Okay, so this is what it is. Now, let's say if it, if I want to have a negative x squared, okay, let's say y equal negative x squared. Okay, so what that means is the opposite of that. So what that means, this is, um, let's say this is y1, Okay, this is, let's say y1 here. See, negative x squared. So if you put in, in your calculator, what that means is minus, make sure, minus 2 all square. Okay, if you put x is minus 2, so it gives you negative 4. So what it does is all of these y values is become negative, opposite of that. So it's become negative 1, 0, minus 1, and then minus 4. Okay, so that one. So to sketch it, is exactly the same as the top one, but except it's just upside down. That's all. It just flip. Okay. So this is x square. This one here is y equal negative x square. All right. So what I'm gonna focus on is this graph. Okay. This is the main graph. Okay. Y equal x square. So always remember this is what it looked like. Y equal x square. Okay. So we're gonna add a bit flavor to this okay let's go so this one here okay let's say y equal x square at 1 okay let's see what it does to the main graph now remember y equal x square the graph is just like that y equal x square okay so let's think about it what that means is every y values of the table let's say x square Okay, at 1, this means that whatever y is at original graph is always move 1 up. So let's say x, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Last time we get y, for this is for y equal x square. Okay, we got like 4, 1, okay, 0, 1. So because every, va each value of this, you add 1 to it. So the next the new y, let's say x squared at 1, so that means you become 5, that become 2, become 1 and 2, because you add 1 to each, each of these y values, alright? So what that means is this, it just, the original graph is like this, see, x squared, alright? This is y equal x squared, so if you add 1, okay, it moves 1 up, so this is 1 here, your graph will just move one up.
is exactly the same graph except it moved one up. Does it make sense? Okay, what happened if I say y equal, um, let me and move, move on to this because it's a bit hard to see. Let's say y equal x squared minus one. Okay, so what it does is just remember we focus original graph, okay? y equal x squared, this is the graph, is original graph. Just keep that in mind for me, this original graph. Now, now we're going to do minus 1, x squared minus 1. So what it does, it just moved down one unit. See, this is minus 1 there. Exactly the same original graph, except it's just moved minus 1 down. Sorry, I just, let me do this again. So minus 1, just move 1 down like that. See, that's all. Okay, so this one here is y equal x squared minus 1. Okay, so remember, if you add 1, the original graph, y equal x squared, you move 1 up. If you minus 1, so you move 1 down. Okay, so if you add 8, it's original graph, this graph here. Okay, just add a on top. That's all it is. Okay, just remember this for me. Okay, let, let's do a bit more. So what happened, okay, what happened to this? Let's say if I have y equal this term, let's say x minus 1 or square. Okay, now, this one is different from y equal x square minus 1, okay, because minus 1 is outside bracket in here, this is inside. So what it does, the effect of this is it move 1 to the right. Just keep that in mind for me. So if what it does, the vol always remember the original graph, this original graph like this, okay? This is what it look like. Now, when it's x is minus 1, inside bracket, okay, minus 1 square, it's moved horizontally, horizontal shift if you like. So because it's minus 1 inside bracket, you move 1 to the right, just move 1. Why is that? Let's say I'm going to look for um, x intercept. That means y equals 0. If I make y equals 0, what happened? x minus 1 all square equals 0. Okay? So x minus 1 is equal 0 if I square root both sides. So x equal 1. You can see? So it's instead of you know move to the left, it's actually moved to the right because it's negative. So just remember. So when I sketch this, it goes like this. Okay, there you go. Alright? So it's horizontal shift. So if it's minus 1, it shift 1 to the right. Now, to find out what this point is, this is called y-intercept. So at this point, along this point, along this line here, x is 0. So when you substitute x is 0 in here, y equal 0 minus 1, all square, so it give me 1. So this value is 1, okay? Keep that in mind for me, all right? So inside bracket, horizontal shift. Outside bracket, vertically. So if you... If you plus a number inside bracket, you move left, okay, whatever that unit is. Okay, let's let's do a couple more. Let's say y is equal to x plus 2 or square. Now, what do you think it is? Yes, it's shift two unit to the left because it's plus, okay? Remember, plus here. So inside bracket is moved horizontally. So and it moved to the left. Okay, just remember it's opposite side. Alright? So because of minus plus two, it will move two to the right. Just roughly minus two there. Alright? Now remember, always remember referring to original graph. This is original graph like this, see? This is original graph. Original graph means x squared. See? Now you because x plus 2 all square that means this graph is shift 2 to the right to the left because it's plus just remember y is moved opposite because look x plus 2 is equal 0 okay so x is negative 2 that's why okay so you move 2 to the left so you just sketch it like that okay so that's what that meant all right so just remember for me so horizontal shift is when x plus a, a constant square okay so if it plus you move to the left minus you move to the right opposite 
Now, let's just just move on a little bit more. Okay, let's say let's say y equal x plus two all square plus one. Okay, now how do I get this? I just want to show you on here. Let's say remember original graph we always refer to original graph okay it's important that's where you get it from sorry this is why i call x square something like that let me draw properly sorry um let's say y equal x square i just draw a bit neater okay now look y equal x square so what happened look at this this original graph so because in here inside bracket at two so what that means we move two to the left roughly here doesn't really matter just roughly so move to the left so this vertex here it moved all the way here now this time but then you add two at one okay you add one what it does this is move one up so you move two a left and one up see that's how you sketch it now to sketch it you just just draw it together roughly and then you go like that see all right so that's all. Now, if you want to find out what the y-intercept is, which is, let me, this y, this x. To find out y-intercept, this is the y-intercept. Okay, cut the y-axis. Along here, when x, when x is equal to 0, okay, if this is 0 for x. So I put, to find out this, what this is, so I go y equal, because x is 0, so 0 plus 2, all square at 1. So 2 square is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this number here is 5. So the vertex, this called vertex or turning point, vertex is minus 2, 1. Okay, because our original graph, you shift 2 to the left and then you add 1. Okay. That's for that. Thank you very much. And let's move on. Do a, let me do 1 or 2. Okay, and that's all. Look. Look at this. Let's say, sorry, let's say y equal. 2x square. Now, original graph is remember always refer to it. Original graph is this way. Okay, let me draw this. This roughly. Okay, so y equal x square. Now, 2x square. What it does is everything of x square or the value of x square you double. See, two times. So what this what this does is just make the graph steeper. That's all. So y equal 2x square is just roughly, okay, just steeper than that. That's all it is, okay. This is 2x square. Now, remember when you draw by itself, okay, this one doesn't really matter. You don't, it's the scale is your choice, okay. You, you scale is you can do whatever scale you like. So let's say I'm going to do y equals 3x square on this, on the second graph, see. I, because it's, I, I'm not compared to any other graph. So I just do it normally, doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is y equals 3x squared. Because I draw by itself, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's say if I draw half of x squared, see, I draw on, on this graph. So y equals a half of x squared. So remember, half of x squared, this is this original graph, okay. The red one is original graph. Let me highlight it for you. This is y equal x square. Okay? Now, because a y equal x square is like this. And then double is deeper. Now, half of that, what it does, it just widen the, widen the, um, the um, x square. So it's, it go like this. Let me draw with different color. Okay. So this one here. See? Just, just widen a bit. That's all. It's a half x, of course. Everything, okay? Half of every y value. So that's what I meant. See, that's all. Okay, so this is y equal a half of x squared. Okay, now remember the coefficient of x squared is just to show the dilation of the graph. Okay, it can be um, steeper or wider if it's less than one. Okay, and I do last one. One more. It just add a bit of um, flavor. So let me let me do this. Let's say two two x minus one all square plus. Let's say make it plus three. 
yeah so what it does it just exactly the same what we did earlier okay look this one here okay look let's say this is y this is x again remember original graph is y equal x squared it's like this okay y equal x squared all right so what happened is if you look at this i highlighted for you this one here okay because it's don't worry about do not worry about the two the coefficient of this the two it doesn't really matter because you draw by itself so you this is less significant okay compared to this one and plus three as well so let's say y equal two open bracket x minus one all square so because it's minus one all square so original graph this original graph here it moved one unit to the right so it moved one unit to the right so it's one there roughly and then what happened then you add three so the vertex this time is the uh, original graph is zero zero you move one to the left and then three up so this is your turning point or vertex so one three again y equal two open bracket x minus one all square it moved one to the right and plus three outside you move three up okay so your graph will look like this okay that's all okay now to find out what the y-intercept is, remember y x is 0. So to find out that number, just go y equal 2, okay, 0 minus 1, square plus 3. Okay, minus 1 square is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, at 3 is 5. Otherwise, just type that in exactly what you see in your calculator, and you should get a 5. So I just plug it up here, 5. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learns um, how to graph uh, parabola with the uh, basic skill using um, uh, vert vertical and horizontal shift.